Hello everyone and welcome to a new Planet Zoo Tour video and a very special one because today we are announcing the winner of the Mini Zoo 2.0 competition and you can already see the zoo in the background but still the winner is Canadian Goose with his Shorewood Zoo. Congratulations Mr. Goose and thank you so much for uh, your participation we already checked it out of course in the live stream but today we are going to jump back into it and uh, yeah try to explore it a little bit more so if this is the first time you are going to see this uh, it's an amazing little project made by canadian goose full of lovely little details and a uh, well deserved winner um but also i want to thank everyone for participating in the uh, mini zoo competition i think it was a great success we had many great um uh, builds and, and and things and um i think it uh, it was one of the most successful competitions that we had so far so uh, yeah congratulations mr goose and uh, let's jump into the tour as usual we will do the tour in um yeah in our uh, beloved tagit cam or explorer mode as we uh, have to call it these days and uh, yeah we all we will uh, start at the entrance of course and you can already see some uh, custom signs that canadian goose made uh, because you are not allowed to use any blueprints in the competition that is one a very important rule and uh, so yeah things like this uh, the participants have to make them all custom like these lovely little uh what you call them holders for the trees to keep them uh, from uh, from falling it's uh, it's a wonderful uh, creation so here we are at the information thingy stand where you can buy your zoo membership for shorewood zoo and this is all so all custom made like this little interior so you can already imagine what we're gonna see in the, in the zoo a uh, lovely little bench over here i really like that one i think it's uh it's a very nice creation and uh, what else do we have a lovely little ice cream stand also custom made of course and um, yeah the uh, the rules for the competition are um, yeah quite uh, quite strict so you have a 35 by a 35 wall border you have to keep uh, all your building pieces within uh, within that border and you can only use nature tap pieces outside of the border and you can do some uh, terrain work if you want uh, but yeah all the building pieces had to be uh, within the border and also all the the pathing um yeah we arrived at the entrance the entrance of shorewood zoo and have some very cool details over here and the leader uh, told me in the stream that this is uh, specially made for blind people so they they know when there is a uh, crossing uh, coming up so they don't just walk uh, yeah over the street and uh, what you're gonna see in the zoo i can already tell you as a, a lot of like custom pathing and and great little uh, great little stuff over here like these things that prevent cars from uh, going in and uh, yeah, it's just a lovely creation beautiful custom fence over here check that out of course it's all little custom pieces very nicely done and let's continue the tour get it going get our tickets over here again custom interior and let's get into the uh, into the zoo our wonderful mini zoo created by uh, canadian goose i can already see some animals but uh, first of all, we have to check out this map because this was one of the rules again that you have to make a map and uh, you can make whatever you want. Uh, but it had to be uh, had to be a map somewhere, like a separate file or in the zoo. And I think this is a yeah a great way of doing it, making a ni nice nice uh, custom image and throwing it down in your zoo. So we can see uh, yeah what to expect. We have flamingos, we have koalas. We have some uh, kangaroos, we have some siamang, capybara, tapir, giant anteater, zebras, uh, giraffe, uh, we have a crocodile house, 
right over there meerkats and lemurs and some lions so there's a lot going on within that 35 by 35 border so that's really cool and this is the first habitat we are going to check out and i really love this one it's really really nice and um yeah i actually forgot something and uh, now that you uh guys uh, are in this video like oh, uh, canadian goose probably also made a uh, description well he did and the description is showwood zoo is a realistic zoo with realistic aspects and habitats uh, backstages and facilities you would normally find in a real zoo the zoo includes nine habitats and a terrarium including the south america compound a giraffe house and a small primate house Every nook and cranny is filled with detail. Behind every door, there is a backstage stage to check. Over every fence and wall, there is a habitat to discover. There's also a lot to check out. Uh, make sure you leave no stone unturned. So that's why I uh, really like to do this uh, tour again uh, to see uh, if we can find some things that we didn't see in the uh, in the live stream. And you should definitely. Uh, check out the link in the description where you can find the link to the steam workshop and you can download it yourself and you can explore the zoo yourself but uh, yeah of course we are gonna do this uh, nice little tour and yeah as i said i really love this flamingo habitat it's it's super realistic with this pond that he made all custom made plaster pieces i love the the water uh, color well not sure if i love it for the animals but just that it looks realistic it's dirty it's uh, probably uh, the, the birds shit in it uh, for ages and that's why it's uh, it changed color a bit great little details with all the rocks different colors the the foliage the nice little nettle sticking through yeah it's just uh, overall a great uh, great habitat and uh, of course a lovely entrance animal the flamingos they make a lot of noise so people like to have that as a uh, as a entrance animal. Is the uh, the door for the keepers to get in? And as the description said, there is a little backstage to discover everywhere. And this is the uh, yeah probably the shrimp uh, feeding uh, spot for the flamingos. And then we have a nice little backstage part behind this door. I know Tejet Cam doesn't really like the doors going through them but uh yeah beautiful custom door i didn't notice that i think in the in the live stream well done it's beautiful all these uh custom tiles it's well done nice yeah it's good that i'm checking it out for the uh, for the second time because it's uh i've missed a lot of details like these little Little gutters, or how do you call that? Drains are going all uh, along the sides of the building. Very nicely done. Custom sliding doors. And then uh, some beautiful fencing on the outside of the uh, of the habitat. <laughs> that was the only downside of this uh, zoo. I, I do remember that, that sometimes I have a huge frame drop. Um, but that's uh, that's okay. It's only for a couple of seconds. And I will uh, try to cut it out uh, whenever I am uh, experiencing it. For the video, uh, the little red dot, that's where we are. We just checked out the uh, flamingo habitat. And um, again, some uh, custom pathing right over here. Really nicely done. And then I think we are going to continue to the koala house. Let's do it. And here we are inside the koala house. Lovely little habitat. Love the little climbing frames over here. And uh, it's really, uh, it's just Canadian goose style to make everything uh, quite small. And uh, so the habitat itself is quite small. I think that's quite realistic. And um, I think he also thought about the environment that he's living in. So the koala and uh, it's too cold outside to uh, keep the koala outside. So we, uh, they, uh, <coughs> they only have a... Uh, a indoor habitat so that's uh, really really well done then of course we have some custom flooring some custom walls everything little backstage area right over there and uh, yeah, just overall uh, lovely lovely details let's uh, 
see if I can get out again because the custom flooring is just continuing on this side and then uh, some nice little uh, benches lovely all everything custom made fencing flooring just a lot to uh, to explore what do we have here we have the kangaroos right over here also nice little habitat well done well done then let's continue because of course there is a backstage to uh, to explore i think it's quite small but uh, yeah the, the kangaroos can fit through here not sure if they would be really happy to uh, to be in there but um, yeah it's it's all about the uh, all about the id and the uh, and the little details of course you can just put the building down and don't put anything uh, inside but yeah the building itself looks really nice i think we have some uh, custom roofing we definitely do we have some uh, yeah some custom walls custom windows everything is custom made so we really have to uh, appreciate that uh, by mr canadian goose and a lovely little habitat kangaroo is just chilling over here like you should well done mr uh, mr goose um i really love the 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 uh what do you call them eh. logs on the back of the habitat covering up the uh, defensing and making sure that the kangaroos uh, won't be able to uh, escape I hope this uh, this fence is uh, high enough to keep the uh, the kangaroos inside their habitat, but still, uh, well done. And uh, this is it's the, oh, the, the the next uh, enclosure already. How cool is that? The Siameng, of course, very popular animal that came with the new conservation pack, and I think this is a great looking habitat. Lovely. Uh, little climbing frames over here but also like the, the island that we have going on a great watercolor again all about the detail and uh, this lovely little viewing gallery as you can see the animals in game don't really like to climb uh, but this is also not climbable i think because of the uh, the rope pieces that have been used over here um, but of course we also have a backstage that we can check out this is the keeper entrance i think yeah because it's going straight into the habitat and of course on the indoor uh, part there's also a uh, a nice little climbing frame that we have love these uh the, are they called guillotine doors i think it's very nice the detail you know that it's uh, connected to something really like this uh this building <laughs> I wonder where you got the inspiration for this, especially with the overhang. I mean, this is probably for the Simon to to, uh, to keep them inside instead of uh, uh, climbing the building and then the, and then escaping. Uh, but yeah, really nicely done. Great foliage. You can see why this uh, was the winner of the uh, the mini zoo competition, and especially because we are only at like. 20% of what we uh, what we can expect in the, in the zoo. That's uh, yeah, it's amazing what the what Canadian goose put into this 35 by 35. Uh, the amount of detail and the amount of uh, habitats that are in here. Uh, it's just uh, it's just great. Um, let's see which way we should go. I think we can explore the building first because there is a nice little backstage part for the tape here. Of course, this uh, this lonely little tapey here can't really get out. But of course, in real life, they would be able to uh, open the door and then they can uh, go out and, and explore and play together with the other animals. Uh, but we have to appreciate this uh, wonderful viewing gallery, wonderful custom benches and a lovely little uh, backstage area. Let's, uh, let's go outside and explore the actual habitat very important of course what i really like what you did over here is that you separated like the viewing or the so the the, the viewing over here is really focused on the siamang and you won't be distracted from the capybara that are uh, right in here and the uh, the uh, the uh, anteater and a great view also with the giraffe in the background little spoiler 
but um, yeah, it's, it's just a great view again. Another custom fence. I really like this one. Even like using three different kind of fencing on the on one habitat. Give some uh, nice water area, and I think I also see a nice uh, underwater viewing. I can't remember that one. But, uh, nice. Look at that. Great combination of animals. Not sure if you got inspiration from a real zoo where they put these animals together or whatever. But yeah, nicely done. Great separation over here. With the fence, then some foliage. We had the concrete water. It's really cool. Let's uh, go down to the underwater viewing. Bang. Really nice. Tape just got out of the water. There was also a capybara that was in the water. I think this is a uh, a great viewing spot. Maybe they will go climbing or climbing, swimming again. No, no, not today. Attention to detail over here. The staircase of the corner, then the uh, the color on the steps. So you will be able to see them. I like how this uh, this habitat is quite full of animals. The keeper door. Not sure if that one was supposed to be there. Um, but also a nice little viewing spot. Nicely done. Great building again with the wood, the concrete, different colors. A lot of detail. Let's continue on the... Uh, which way shall we go? I think we can uh, check out the giraffe habitat first. Especially the giraffe house. That's what we have to check out. Looks really nice. Custom feeders. Very important. You can see Canadian Goose followed one of leader his... Uh, his uh, realism academies. With the custom feeders. Yeah, I really get this zoo vibe from uh, from this place. And I, as I said, I really can see why this is the uh, the winner of the uh, of the competition. Great build. Lovely habitat. And let's get inside. Because then we can check out the backstage part. Great cages. Lovely fencing again. The uh, the custom feeders that we have. Nice. I love how light it is over here because of the uh, the glass roof. And then we have, of course, even more backstage stuff. It's really nice. It's all in the details, guys. It's all in the details. Another little room where they will prep the food I guess and that's where we can uh, go outside and this is where the keepers will get into the building so, great. I love that you put the giraffe in a uh, in a mini zoo because they usually take up quite a big area it's quite a big animal so uh, that's not not that weird well done then on the other side we have some zebras, of course, Mr. Goose with zebras, it's looking really nice again. Wonderful, wonderful build. Another custom feeder, because why not? You have to take a look at all the, all the little details, all the little rocks on the, on the floor, and then we have and some separation area right over here. Of course, it will fit like one zebra, but yeah, that's uh, that's the Canadian goose style, trying to fit in as much as possible uh, within the uh, within the small border that we had. Um, great little sliding doors that we have. Uh, custom feeder, of course. Not sure if that's a door. No, that's not. We will go through this door, and that's where they uh, prep the food. It's a little cabinet, and then we can go out. 
from this side. So on all these little details, there's also like a little gate where the guests are not allowed to go through. And then you can access uh, the building or the keepers can access the building. And from this side, you will get to the viewing area for the giraffe. And so this is also part for the... Uh, the indoor area for the giraffes. Again, custom feeders on top over there. Another uh, another nice little detail. Well made. Uh, yeah, that's very nice. Love that fence. How you made it. Well done. Nicely done. Alright. So let's check on the map where we are right now. I think we should have, yeah, we are right over there. So we checked out uh, all these animals and I think we are going into the reptile house. Um, I think this looks like a little separation area for the giraffe. And I think this is the crocodile house. And this is, yeah, I think this is one of the main reasons why this build has won. Because, yeah, the, the, the 35 by 35 is quite small. So Canadian Goose was like, well, I can make a complete underground croco pavilion. And there we go. This is all made underground, custom pathing, and then some, some nice habitats. And I can only imagine the pain that he has been going through while building this. But it really, really looks nice. Love the height difference. I love that you change some of the walls. Um, the, the keeper entrance right over here. And then of course some nice little uh, exhibit animals. Of course even more exhibits on the sides. Love the change in the, uh, in the rock color. We have the tropical ones and the grassland or desert ones. Of course, we have the, uh, the little crocodile over here. Not sure where we... Uh, where he's gone. Right over there. Look at that. But yeah, all made on the ground. I mean, that's really, really impressive. And there's even a toilet over here. And... Uh, I think there was also a, a backstage for the, there you go, a backstage for the, uh, for the exhibits. Everything over here, custom made, even like a little terrarium. I really love this. Lovely little details. Let's go back up and see what we can, uh, explore even more in the zoo that's what already checked out so i think we have the lemurs on this side look at that we have a lot of lemurs who also don't like to climb in the in the game but of course in real life they would be uh, climbing all over the place they have these lovely little houses where they can go in and chill with their friends. Then this looks like the uh, the indoor area for them. And then they are combined with the meerkats. I didn't notice that previously. Yeah, they can. Demons can go in here and then on the bottom you have some meerkats. How cool is that? I really love this place. Great rock work. Also like that part where the meerkats can sleep. Like a little burrow, little box where they can go in. That's probably for the lemurs again, and then all the climbing stuff for the lemurs. Damn. I'm seeing a lot of new things, a lot of new details in the in this build. Let's check out the other side, because I think this is where the uh, little Africa where the guests can also go in. Ah, yes. They will have an indoor viewing part. And then this is the, uh, the staff part. Of course, I was not able to get in there in the, uh, in the explore mode camera. There you go. Much better. But a great, uh, great viewing spot. 
but you can take out the uh, the meal cats really like how there is a lot of like viewing areas going on inside the zoo especially yeah, like this habitat for example you will have an indoor outdoor uh, yeah, outdoor area for the uh, for the for the lemurs so there's a lot going on a little food court over here let's see and then I think we have the lions as the final animal in Shorewood Zoo. Great netting. Not sure if that's necessary for the lions, but I think there are a couple of zoos. I think we checked that. Uh, there are a couple of zoos out there that actually have the netting for the lions. But I love this habitat. I love the, the rock work that you did and then combined with the, with the classical building. It's super nice. And then we have a door also custom just saying and then we have this sliding door for the lions and this is where they can separate them it's also full of like little details that the lions can go up here and then they can probably sleep over there and then this is like the staff area and the, the feeding part little hose where they can clean everything food prep everything everything is there and canadian goose thought about every little detail i'm a huge fan of, of of like this part so the separation so not really a viewing part and then you have a dedicated viewing over here and the rest is all covered up with the uh, with the foliage and then you will have another dedicated viewing gallery right over here at the entrance and then i think i um, i checked out every single habitat in this uh, in this park and it really looks amazing let's have a little top view so uh, you guys can uh, check out the uh, yeah the area where this was building and you can yeah, you can't really imagine that we walked around for uh, i don't know how how much time did we uh, did we spent in the zoo almost 30 minutes uh it's basically only this small little area and this is uh, all fit within that 35 by 35 and there's even a little uh, road going around the zoo and then also with a lot of details with the foliage and and everything i really uh, i really love this place it's really city zoo-ish which i really like and uh yeah overall uh, a great little build and we will check it out by night time but uh there's not much going on by night of course in a zoo but it does outside of the zoo so uh that's uh, that's a cool little detail these uh little lights along the road um not super modern at least over here people don't like the lights anymore along the road so they will uh, put it down or uh, shut it off during the night so nobody can see anything but it saves some energy so that's good uh, yeah so canadian goose again congratulations for uh, winning the uh, the competition and thank you so much for participating and um, everyone thank you very much for this competition uh, we will give you guys some rest now and we're gonna think about the next competition that we're gonna do uh, because especially after the, uh, the success of this one it's uh, we should really continue uh, with it uh, if you want to participate in the next competition make sure you join our discord channel there's a link down in the description and then uh, yeah you will get all the information you need about the uh, the next contest uh, if you enjoyed the two video then make sure you hit the like button uh, if you want to see more planet zoo videos make sure you uh, are subscribed to this channel and uh, i'm gonna speak to you guys in the next one you you